Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you some of the things that I got from Mood. I have this great fabric haul. Last week, we had our second snow day, uh, second nor'easter come through Massachusetts in the last two weeks, and we have potentially a third one coming in next week. So what do you do on a snow day? Well, you sew and you shop online. So I bought a few things from Mood, but I hadn't bought anything since January, so that was a, that's good. So I was a month, I took a break for the whole month of February, and, and that's hard for me to do. So the first thing I bought, that this is what actually triggered the whole purchase, is this calla lily with this gold kind of stripe running through it. Oh my god, it's so cute. It is uh, metallic gold and black tweed. And I will put the link up down below because I know they have it and they actually just had it on their Instagram feed this week. Uh, the day after I bought it, it was on the Instagram feed. Oh my gosh. So I'm definitely going to make a jacket out of this. I'm not really sure what yet. I'm thinking maybe the Sew Over at London Coco jacket would be really cute with some gold trim or some white trim for spring. I don't know. But that is um, first on my list for April. So I have to figure out exactly what I want to do with that. And then... My jackets need to be overhauled. I just made this leather jacket last month, which I absolutely love, and I really like this pattern. So I'm thinking that one of these might be that pattern, but I'm not exactly sure which one. This is a kind of a light cream suiting. It's a beautiful weight. It has terrific drape. Um, it's actually... Look at that. Oh yeah. So I'm pretty sure that is also going to be a jacket because that's sort of what I had in mind as I was purchasing these. But this has such a beautiful lightweight with a little lightweight lining or maybe even unlined. It will make a terrific spring jacket. And I'm trying to find the tag here. It is Heather Candy Ginger Stretch Suiting. How's that for a name? But yes, it's got a little bit of a stretch to it. I definitely have enough for a jacket. I might even have enough for a skirt, depending on the cut of the jacket that I have. They'll make a cute little suit for, uh, little suit for work. So yeah, yummy, yum, yum, yummy. So you'll see that one coming up in April, I'm sure. And then I just downloaded the new Sew Over It uh, PDF pattern. I'm in their PDF club and it's a pair of culottes. Um, so I found this by accident, of course. This is beige and blue stretch blended linen. So, uh, how is that, huh, for a pair of culottes? You know, it's got a lot of body to it, it's linen, so they'll they'll kind of stand out, which is sort of what you want. You want those culottes, you don't want them flopping against your legs, you want something with a little bit of body to it. So I think though that's what this will be for, but I love the stripe, and on a pair of culottes, it gives you that nice up and down uh, look, so it makes you look taller and thinner. Who doesn't want that, right? One thing that I try to make every season is a new white blouse and a new black jacket. So the next purchase I made was this a Theory uh, Black Stretch Cotton Twill. And it's pretty simple. It's not anything fancy or exciting, but it has a really nice hand and it's not too heavy. So I think I'm actually going to use this pattern to make it. It's the um, sim uh, silhouette pattern. I think it's Ellen's jacket. It's a princess seam jacket with a zip front, and I think that this would look great. And there's some really cute details that I didn't add to the leather jacket on the sleeves and on the pockets. So I think I'll give them a try on this. There's like lace up pockets and then some pleating on the sleeve. So I think that this, I think, I'm not sure, but I think that this twill will be perfect for that. And then the last thing I purchased was kind of a whim, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's one of these patterns that you either love or you hate. And I absolutely fell in love with this. And it's a sateen bird print. Oh my God, look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's got a wild bird print on it. And I don't know, um, the Belladonna dress. I made that from, um, uh, I can't think of the pattern company's name, but I'll put it up there right off the top of my head. But I made that dress and I love it. I, I made it in a denim and it's so cute. This is Songbird's Perch Mikado. And it's a mood exclusive fabric. I'm just a big fan of birds. I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think it's too much for a jacket because it'll get all cut up, but certainly for a dress it would be really cute. And it's it's kind of springy, you know? It's it's a twill, but it's got a sateen finish on it. So it's got a lot of body to it. It's not super drapey. It's it's it'll stand up if it's got a full skirt or something. So I don't know, I have to seriously consider what I'm gonna do with this. And then the best thing about Mood is well, depending on how much you spend, you get swatches, free swatches from them. So I always make sure that I order swatches when I put in an order. Um, just sometimes it's just nice to have the fabric to see what it looks like and how it behaves. So this is a silk habati. Um, and you can see that even just that little piece has a big run in it. So I'm thinking that's probably not going to work just from them cutting this and putting the sticker on. It's got a run in it. So that's probably not a good idea and it probably won't hold up. So you put all that effort into something that's going to kind of fall apart, which is a good thing. This is a silk Georgette and I like this. This is ginger, candy ginger silk Georgette. Um, I love Georgette. I'll make it an adorable little blouse, like a pussy bow blouse or something. That would be terrific. Then I got, this is kind of fun and I thought I would just, I wanted to see what it looked like. This is a waxy camouflage printed stretch polyester shirting. So how about that, huh? How much fun is that? It doesn't have a lot of stretch. It has a little bit of stretch. And it goes both ways, but yeah, really? Uh, a shirt dress or maybe a long tunic out of this would be so cute. So I thought that would be fun. And then the last one that I got is a, a silk crepe de chine. It's a printed silk crepe de chine. And I've been, woo, look at that, it's full static. I've been looking at this one for quite a while and I think that I'm probably gonna get that because that would make just a super cute blouse. So yeah, that is my fabric haul for March from Mood. And uh, yeah, no more snow days, please. I don't need to do any more shopping. <laughs> I will talk to you soon. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and uh, go out and sew what's fabulous. Thanks, bye.